they're fish or any other creatures swimming around here. Aye, where'd all the little fishies go? Mm. This is creepy. It's like a ghost town down here. Blech. You mean a gross town. Shellington, what is this green mess? It's algae. Algae is a common plant in the ocean, but there's a lot more here than usual. <laughs> yep, all this slimy algae keeps clogging up the octopod faster than I can clean it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Dashy. Didn't see you there behind me. <laughs> <gasps> a boss, mateys. Over here. What is it, Quasi? Look. <gasps> <laughs> Professor Inkling, do you see how slowly those lobsters and crabs are moving? I do, Shellington. Very strange. Do you think it has anything to do with all this algae? Hmm, <laughs> not sure. Though this does seem familiar. <laughs> These creatures are poorly. We have to help them, Captain. Agreed. But first, we have to work out what's wrong. <laughs> oh, poor little fellow. What do you make of this, Quasi? Never seen anything quite like it. Psst, come on, this way. All this algae seems to be making them ill. Professor, have you ever heard of such a thing? I've observed this problem before, but where? <gasps> Hold on, Shellington, I can check my books. To the library! Look at this! There's a leak in this pipe. Hmm. I wonder if that could be part of the... Hmm? Oh! Whoa! Ah! Oh no! The octopod is taking off without us! <laughs> We've got to catch the octopod! Octonauts, to the gups! Ah, I don't see a thing. I'd better check the map in the professor's book to make sure we're in the right place. OK, but be careful with it. Of course I'll be careful with it. And why don't I hold it for you while you look? I can hold it myself. <laughs> Quasi Shellington, look at this. <laughs> Flying. Fish! <gasps> Stand back! I've got it! Ha -ha! <laughs> Those flying fish took the professor's book! We're going after them! There it is, Captain. Hold tight. You almost have them, matey. They can't get away from us now. <gasps> uh, we may have a problem catching up to them. When flying fish want to make a getaway, they leap out of the water. Oh! And look, they're gliding away. We'll never catch them now. Ow! Oof! Out! There's one that didn't get away. <gasps> Must get away! It's no use. I can't make it. Are you okay? No, I'm doomed. I'm a flying fish who can't fly. Oh, please don't eat me. Don't worry. We don't want to eat you. Ow! Oh, me tail fin! I smacked it on some rocks and now it really hurts! We know someone who can help you with your fin. Why don't you come back to the octopod with us? Uh, but Captain, what about the professor's book? Aye, we've got to find those flying fish again. Agreed, but first our new friend needs help. 
We'll let them know back at the Octopod. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Hi, Captain, and I'm heading back to the Octopod right now. Huh? Shiver, whiskers. I thought I was a hotshot pilot, but these little fishies put me to shame. Octonauts, can you see this? They're sardines, Quasi. Sardines always travel together in a school. But how do they all stay together? The scales on sardines' skin help them feel when other sardines are near them. That's how they stay together when they move. Yeah, a triple curly cue with a half bike squiggle. I've got to try that. Quasi out. Now I'm going to show these little fishies some moves of my own. Ha <laughs> Get a load of that. A super fast split turn with a backwards loop. Not bad. <laughs> Yeah, run! Backwards roll over with a one and a half inward split! <laughs> you swim almost as well as a sardine! You're not too shabby yourself for a little flipper flapper! The name's Dina! Quasi! Maybe we'll have a rematch someday! You're on! Well, better get back to my school before they. Uh oh! Did you lose your school? Well, I'll be glad to help you find them. No, thanks. I'm sure they didn't go too far. Bye, Quasi. Bye, Dina. Be careful, matey. Mmm, lunch is served. Ah! Not so fast, ye scurvy shark. Oh, no, lunch is cancelled. Thanks, Quasi. I guess it's not so safe out here without my school. They say there's safety in numbers. True. That's why we sardines always travel in large schools. Then, when a fish who wants to eat us shows up, we swim in lots of different directions so it doesn't know who to follow. Clever. There's only one of me, but I'd be happy to take you safely to your school. That's very nice of you. Boss, there they are now. I know a shortcut through this old shipwreck. Ah! What happened? I'm caught in this old fishnet. Are you hurt, Quasi? Nah, I just bumped my head. Don't you worry, I'll get myself out of this mess. Maybe I could chew through the ropes. No, Dina. You go on ahead, or you'll lose your school again. Nope. You didn't abandon me when I needed help. I'm staying here with you till I know you're OK. You're a brave lass, Dina, and a good friend. I've almost caught up with them. Where's the gup E? What's that dogfish got? You've got the gup finder. But that means Quasi and Peso could be anywhere. Time to set sail. Leaving already? Well, till we meet again. Goodbye, me hottie. Nice to meet you. Heave ho, matey. <laughs> <sighs> Looking good! Ha ha! Uh-oh, uh -oh. we're sinking! Yeah. Oh! <sighs> ah, our raft is gone! This is a disaster! Don't worry, Peso! I'll think of something else! Wait, I have an idea. Maybe we could send a message for help. That's impossible, me hearty. We've got no radio, no gut finder, nothing. We just need a messenger. We can't get off the island, but we can send a message with someone who can. Huh? Blenny! 
Would you deliver a message to Captain Barnacles on the Octopod and tell them where we are, please? I'd love to, but planets like me don't go in deep water. We have to stay in the shallow water around the island, you know? But what if you swim out just far enough to pass the message along to someone else? Hey, that's a great idea. Consider it done, my friends. See? I told you I'd think of something. <sighs> Well, this is about as deep as I can go. Oh, hey, excuse me, Bluefish, spare a minute. Oh, hello. Hi, I need to get a message to the deep. Tell Captain Barnacles that there are two octonauts named Quasi and Peso, and they're stuck on a desert island. I can't swim too deep, but I can pass along the word to some folks who can. Thanks, you're a pal. Giant Squid, can I ask you a favour, please? I need to pass on a message. Tell Captain Barnacles, two Octobots named Crazy and Pesto are stuck in the desert. Need some help? All right, I'll tell me friends. How do? Got any news? Aye, Anglerfish. Tell Captain Farnacles that some octagons named Lazy and Ernesto are stuck in some dessert. Go as deep as you can and pass it on. Oh, right. Will do. Huh? What's that? Here. Got to get a message to Napkin Carbuncles about some octagons named Hay and Presto. They've deserted or they're stuck or something like that. Anyway, pass it on. Octagons? Stuck? Maybe he meant octonauts. Wait, uh, can you lead me to these octagons? I mean, octonauts? Afraid not, but I can put you in touch with the giant squid what told me about it. Then lead the way. <laughs> That's the patient? Uh -huh. Say ah! Uh. <sighs> I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me fin. Pinto, would you please hand me your stethoscope, a thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the octopod. Wow, an anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Uh, hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah, oh, a tail like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The, the Naka what? The Nakawak. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Nakawak comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. 
Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but uh, I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one. And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters. Look, over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi. Right into that Nakawak's lair. Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. Excuse me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh! Ah! Ah! 